Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fucked up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement. Just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh God, adrenaline wasted. So mad I can taste it. I know there's Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. We're waiting for one more guest, we're waiting for Mallory to get here. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay, Mallory, Um, let's see. She's on Facebook. She's trying to get onto StreamYard. Yeah, I saw Princess Sullivan. I saw that you tagged Jessica. Thank you. I did talk to her. Um, I did talk to her and asked her to come up. Um, it will probably be different times than Mallory if she comes in, but the link is pinned if Jessica does come in and wants to come up. Hello, Sherry. She muted herself. Everyone, this is Sherry, and she's going to do the show with me um, along Hello, with Mallory. She, uh, Mallory's trying to get in, so um, I'm not going to wait for her to come in. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tell Ariana's story. She was born May 28th of 2018. This year, she will be six in May. She went missing September 11th from September 11th, 2018, from Roanoke, Virginia. She's a female. She's a black female. She went missing at three months old. Three months. She was two feet long. Weighed 14 pounds. Was last seen wearing a pink onesie and pink socks her distinguishing characteristics is that she's an african-american female with black hair and brown eyes and this is the details into the story and after i get into here um this is why mallory's gonna come up she has been an advocate since day one for ariana and so um, she's going to come up and talk about what she's done for the case and more info into the case because she is so close to the case. Um, so Ariana was last seen at her home in the 1100 block of Hanover Avenue in Roanoke, Virginia on September 11th, 2018. Now, I really, really want y'all to listen to this article because to me, some of it doesn't make sense. But here we go. Her mother, Jessica Day, stated she put her down to sleep, and when she came back an hour later to check on her, the baby was gone. She called the police at 11 p.m. When they arrived, they found no signs of forced entry, but the resident, the residence had been unlocked. Remember, she called the police at 11 p.m., okay? Hey, Freeside. The following day, the police arrest Andrew Christopher Terry and charged him with illegal disposal of a body and Ariana's disappearance. A photo of Terry is posted with the case summary, which is him up here at the bottom of all the pictures of Ariana. This is him down here. 
Initially reported to be a cousin of Ariana's father, he is himself presumed to be her father. I don't know how this is trying to explain itself. Mallory tried to explain it to me a different way last night. But according to Jessica, the mother, she calls um, Andrew uh, the baby's alleged father. I don't know about all of that stuff, but if you hear alleged father come up, it's Andrew Terry, who I do believe is the father of the baby. But I don't think, I don't know if DNA tests and all that was done. I'm not, yeah. I think he's the father and she's saying alleged father. So he is presumed to be her father. He was at the house. On a separate occasion, the day he she went missing in the morning. He also had communication with Jessica up until the police were called. And that's what I want y'all to listen to. Terry lived in Blacksburg, Virginia with his girlfriend and their two children. But for years, he had also been seeing Jessica off and on. He'd known her since childhood, since being in like elementary school or something like that. I think it was. And his girlfriend of 16 years did not know that Ariana existed until she went missing. Jessica has four older children, and I do, do believe one of her children turns 18 next year. So Jessica has four other children and had told him she did not to want to be a mother again. He repeatedly offered to take custody of Ariana but also had suggested she place the baby for adoption. Although Ariana, the paternity has not been established, Jessica has filed for custody of her daughter and child support from Terry. Jessica reported that around midday on the day of Ariana's disappearance, Terry came by her apartment, put the baby down for a nap and left for work. At 9.30 p.m., Jessica breastfed her, left the baby sleeping on her mother's bed. For the next half hour, she put her down at 930. For the next half hour, she was in the kitchen doing whatever, walking around the apartment, cleaning. She talked to Andrew at least one time in the 30 minutes. When she returned to check on the baby at 10 p.m., she found her six-year-old asleep on the bed, but the baby was gone. Jessica smelt cigarette smoke in the bedroom and suspected Terry had been there. Immediately, she called him and asked where he'd taken Ariana. He said he didn't have her. Until 11 p.m. This is 10 o'clock, right? Until 11 p.m., Jessica talked to him several times on the phone and on Facebook Messenger. At one point, she says, are you harming her or setting me up for murder? 11 o'clock, she calls the police. She found her daughter missing at 10 p.m., a three-month-old baby. And she's going to talk to the dad for a whole hour and call the police an hour later. Who does that sound like? That sounds like the Proudfoots and Sebastian Rogers case, except theirs was like longer. That's ridiculous. Then, get this, you guys. When police met Terry at Jessica's home, they noticed his pants were wet and appeared to be. He offered several explanations for this, but after he was questioned for several hours and took a break for a nap, he stated he'd fallen down a slope after digging his daughter's grave. The brown stains on his pants were never tested, and it's not clear whether they were mud. Sorry, I was trying to see if Mallory made it up yet. Terry gave a very different account of the crucial hours after Ariana's disappearance. He said he went back to Jessica's apartment after he finished work, and Jessica met him out front with Ariana and told him to take her. He said she had a slight cut and general swelling on her face. He put the baby in his lap and drove towards Blacksburg. 
20 or 30 minutes into the drive, she simply stopped breathing. Okay, hold on one second, you guys. Hello, Mallory. Welcome. Can you hear us? I think you're muted. Welcome, Mallory. Hold on one second. You can turn your camera off if you don't want it on before I bring you up. You want your camera on? I'm at it. Oh, I'll take it off. Okay. It's new to me. Hey, I'm going through her story right now. Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Mallory. She is an advocate for Ariana, and we're going to talk to her after we get through the story. So, um, yeah, let's mute you. Okay. Let's finish reading the story, and then we'll get with Mallory. She's really sweet. So, 20 or 30 minutes into the drive, she stops breathing. He said he tried to revive her and failed. And he didn't seek medical attention for the baby because he was scared. Instead, he stated he took exit 128 off of Interstate 81 in Ironto, Virginia, and continued driving towards Blacksburg. Somewhere along the way, he stopped and dug a shallow grave for Ariana with his hands on a bank near the railroad tracks and the intersection of Cedar Run Road and Janelle Road. He covered her body with leaves. On the late afternoon of September 12th, Terry took police to the location, but dogs turned up no sign of the baby or a gravesite. As Terry had stated, the grave was so shallow that the wind might have uncovered the body. Police asked if he fabricated his story. He said he was telling the truth and quote, I swear to you, She's over there somewhere. Later that day, he said he recanted, saying he had only brought police to that spot, quote, to show she wasn't there. When the police questioned him again on September 13th, Terry returned to his story about Ariana dying in his car and him burying her. Further searches turned up no evidence to support the story. Terry was tried for, he was arrested and he was tried for felony illegal disposal of a body in September 2019, a year after the disappearance. Jessica, the mother, testified for the defense. She admitted she'd given some false statements to police about her daughter's disappearance and that she, she suffered from memory lapses. At various times, she said, Ariana had smothered her, had smothered after falling asleep during breastfeeding, or that she was kidnapped by an adoption agency, or that she had sold her. She admitted none of those statements were true. Jessica also admitted she had called Terry's defense attorney in 2019 to say the baby was alive and well. And that she had called Terry and asked, quote, should I wait until court to say I gave her to your cousin? She suggested Ariana may have been injured by falling from her carrier and that the true story was that Terry had taken her away. Location data from Terry's cellular phone tracked his route from Roanoke to Blacksburg that night. He bought cigarettes and a lighter at a convenience store before going to Jessica's home. The data showed a pause around the intersection of Janelle Road and Cedar Run Road for six minutes. And the prosecution said that during this time, Terry bur buried the baby. Terry's defense attorney questioned whether the baby had actually died. After hours of deliberation, the jury was unable to reach a verdict. Terry will have to be tried again. Although police believe Ariana's deceased, they are not sure of the circumstances of her death and both parents remain persons of interest. Her case remains unsolved, but foul play is suspected due to the circumstances involved. And I want to tell you that after the jury was unable to reach a verdict, the prosecution dropped the charges against him. So there are no charges on either parent, 
but they still seem to remain um, both persons of interest. And this has been going on for six years, you guys, six years. Yes, she kept changing her story. <sighs> Mallory, like I said, has been an advocate for since day one, and she knows a whole lot more information than what Sherry and I know. Sherry and I stayed on the phone with her last night for a good while and learned a lot, but it is a mess. It This case is a mess. So I'm going to go over to um, Mallory and ask her how hey, she became an awesome. advocate since day one and um, if she can yeah mama shell but it's so good to see you i'm so glad that you're here okay i just unmuted thank you hey mallory hey y'all thank you for being here welcome yes thank no you problem. and welcome mallory so how Thanks, did you guys. get involved with this case um somebody has sent me her case and i just was following it ever since then and like i told you guys last night um, it kind of like disappeared because they have ended up finding a body in a lake, but Roanoke Police Department um, did not make the community aware that it was a baby girl. They made it seem like it was her, but they never came back and told us that um, that it wasn't her. And once I found out that it wasn't her, it it just did something to me because. You know, I know what it's like to not have somebody to advocate for you because, you know, I was in the system all my life and I didn't have a voice. So at three months old, knowing that a baby didn't just get up out of the bed and walk out of the door, that just, it hurt me so bad. And so I've just been advocating for her ever since. You have a, there's a group on Facebook that, um, is it your group that you made? Yes, I created I created that group for Ariana um, so that whatever information I get that I can make public, I post it in that group so they don't get lost. Okay, well, I've, there's a couple of videos of Jessica that I wanted to play that I'll play later. Um, there's so much on this group, you guys. I'll post it in the chat. Hold on one second. If you don't know about this case, it'll take you another six years to get caught up to everything right. because <laughs> yes. this is the group. It's, um, is it, where is Ariana Day? Yes. Yes, that's it. Hashtag. There's a lot of information about the case on here. A lot of information that I'm not going to bring up um, personal between the family <laughs> and everything that they've got going on. I don't want to bring that up. However, uh, Mallory does have a good relationship with the mother, Jessica Day. And um, we had, hold on, let's play it up. We have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> we're like we, Sometimes we can love and like each other, but sometimes we hate each other. And right now we hate each other. <laughs> It'll be back to love soon, I hope. But um, so... Tell me about Steve Wilkos. Um, I took Jessica on the Steve Wilkos show. Um, that was a very strange um, time. Um, they decided not to air the show for whatever reason. I have no idea. I was told that um, the first story was the um, it was technical difficulties, and then the second story was the higher ups told them that they weren't allowed um, to shoot the show. Um, what was the next one? Oh, and then the, um, the third one was they couldn't shoot the show at the time, so they would bring us back. I forgot to tell y'all that. And they never did reach out to me or Jessica again. Even if they did, I wouldn't have went. But I found that very strange um, how we all, you know, did the prep of the show, and then they chose not to shoot it. So whatever is going on with this baby, it's bigger than, it's more than what we think it is. Especially for him, like I told y'all, for him not to do it. And you said that they both failed their lie detector test, correct? Yes. I was told by officials that they both failed their test. Even the detective um, that's on Ariana's case stated that Jessica failed hers. 
And she recorded and you, him live saying it. Oh, that's cute. That was smart. Mm-hmm. One um, or both of these people need to be charged. Absolutely. I agree. They both should be charged. And like you said, um, she is still missing. She will be six years old this year in May. Um, unfortunately, next year would be the seventh year, and they probably will declare her deceased. I'm praying um, that they will. Um, yeah, you told me next year, the seventh year. Hey, Queen they should, Olive. And if they crazy. don't, we know. If they don't, then we absolutely know that it's something fishy with this case. Mallory has had to go around circle and circle and circle and never ending trying to get any help, any help for this case. She hired a private investigator on her own to help with this case. She's gone to the police department. She's gone to the chief. She's gone to the mayor. You want to talk about all all the people that you have contacted trying to get help with this case to get someone investigating again how there's a new police chief and hopefully we'll, you'll be able to get something you want to go ahead and explain all of that she's hired um, a private investigator it's the one that i told y'all about that i want to keep a secret for now um yeah. i want to keep that as a surprise because i want to keep pushing in the background even though i don't post a lot about it on Facebook or, you know, on any platform at the moment. Um, I want to keep that as a surprise because I want to keep trying to apply pressure in the background until, you know, they tell me no or don't return my phone calls. And then other than that, I'm coming full force to let y'all know the conversation that I had with, uh, with an amazing person a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yes, I have talked to the mayor. I have, uh, I'm going to reach out to the, the new police chief. I haven't talked to him yet. Um, I'm trying to get all that situated, you know, for the summer coming up. But I mean, I'm actually excited about it. Very excited about it. I'm glad I met you because there's a lot of people, especially in the true crime community here on YouTube. And they sit here you know, like I'm doing, and they sit here and they tell a story and then they complain about law enforcement or they complain about the governor not doing anything. And they're not going to do anything until somebody takes a stance, just like you did, Mallory. I don't know if I lost. Yes. Oh, there you are. I agree. Yes. Absolutely. And it takes more than just one person. You know, you need a village to carry with you to to make things happen and i, I keep have saying my this here in roanoke and i appreciate my girls um it's it's at least it's about seven of us um and i love them and i appreciate them so much we constantly doing things in the background constantly looking up stuff calling emailing even like i say if i'm not posting it best believe we're doing it in the background because everything is not meant to be posted you know what i'm saying because a lot of stuff, if you post it, it can ruin a lot of stuff. But trust me, yeah. we oh, ruin yeah. a lot of stuff in the background. <sighs> we just can't make everything public, you know? Okay, you guys can see this Facebook page. This is the Facebook page for Ariana that um, mm -hmm. Mallory put together. And there's a lot of screenshots of things that Jessica, the mother, has said. And there's some videos that I want to play for you guys of things that came out of the mother's mouth. Like, I just want to let y'all know the day this baby went missing and she was napping in the crib, in the bassinet, in the bed, whatever you want to call it. Because evidently she's used all three. But I read that she calls her bed the crib. So I'm oh, not really so she sure. Cleared how that up. Go ahead. She cleared that up because she put her in the bassinet and then um, it went from the bassinet to the bed with her daughter. Oh, the bassinet. Yeah, then it went from her laying her in the bed with her daughter. <laughs> well, the window was open mm -hmm. when these babies were taking a nap on the bed. Mm -hmm. And Miss <laughs> Jessica smoked cigarettes herself. Yeah, she said that she didn't smoke prior to this 
um, she actually started smoking that day. That's when she went to the store and got a loose cigarette. So he went to the store and bought cigarettes and a lighter before he went to her house, but she went get a loose cigarette from the store. No, Andrew, yes, Andrew did that after he left her house. She ended up going to get the loose cigarette um, after Ari had went missing. Oh, I thought it said before he went to her house, he stopped at the store. But according to you, he stopped at most He stopped stores. at the store after. There's, there should be a timeline inside the group that he gave me, and I posted it in there. That was years ago. That was like when it first happened. So just type in timeline in the search bar in the group, and it should come up. Where is the search bar? Right here? Yes. Okay, yeah. And then type in timeline, and his his timeline should pop up. Stroll down. This? No, I mean you gotta keep you gotta stroll, stroll down. It. Everything that says timeline is gonna pop up. Or you could have put Andrew timeline or something like that, or Pacific words, and then it'll pop up. I was just looking to see what this. This is the video. Okay, that's this the is one. The video that was, yeah, that's the one that we were talking at the window. And this is where she says where the bedrooms were, and the window was open. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna watch this one real you quick. Yeah, unmute it. Okay, I will I'm hold on one second. I'm unmute. It all together. Two bedrooms, one bedroom, one This one right here, that, that yeah. was yours. Yeah, and my kids' bedroom and next door on the side of the house. It was right here. So this right here is the living room. And then, so like, I'm just trying to get, I always wanted a visual of the inside. So this your room here. Right. So when you when we walk inside, where is the kitchen? You have to. It's the big hall. It's the living room uh, right here, and then you go in the living room. It's the hallway, and then you go back past my kids' room, and then straight back is the bathroom and the kitchen. So that is kind of like a different part. Right? But it's your room. So was this window up? Oh no, I didn't never know that window. But this your bedroom, because this window's still up right here. This one right here? Okay. So this was up. Yeah. I didn't see any windows, no. When you say you smell smoke, so you smell smoke like in front of, inside the house, or coming from the window? Coming from Like somebody inside. just smoked like a cigarette and put was, it out. Yeah, oh. and my house smoked it. Hmm. Because I wasn't, I do smoke, but you know, not like when I had airy, I was breastfeeding, so I had stopped smoking. That's why I'm like, you know, this, yeah. I shouldn't still smoke. I don't have any cigarettes in my house. That's kitchen windows right there? Um, That's the kids' room windows right there. So this is the window you walked to? Yes. No, that's not the window I walked to. The window I walked to was right here. Window. Yes. Oh, so this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. People be lying. They said the lady gutted the house out. This house ain't gutted. Okay. You see, she was on the floor now. So it's like hardwood floors. They like got that white tile. They had white tile in there. In the so this is when you came through, like, what the fuck yeah, going on? Around. Yeah. It's carpet all through the house. Okay. And then one of the babies is on the couch in here. So look. My kids were in there last week. All of them were in one room sleeping. My son, he was right there by that window sleeping that bed. You wrote something. I wrote yeah, she said she wanted to read it. Daughter. Read it. We can all gather and you can read it. Like, let your heart out. Apparently, there's an older gentleman living in that house currently. Right. Yes.
All right, here's Jessica again. Let's see. How did she, she make such here. a beautiful baby? Exactly. Girl. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what she says here. Oh, wait, hold on. Unmute. Need nobody to believe who I am. You hear me? I don't need nobody to believe that I ain't hurt my child. You hear me? I know. God know. And I'm gonna still be walking the motherfucking streets. Cause the police not gonna touch me. Cause they know who the fuck I am. You heard that, Mallory? Oh my gosh. What'd you say? She's the a police ain't go the police ain't gonna touch me because they know who the F I am. Exactly. Mm. She know that. <laughs> Mm. The fuck? They know I ain't did shit. The fuck? But yet and still, they want to have it like my daughter deceased. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. My daughter ain't deceased. That's then the shit she all got on motherfucking shit. news and shit. That's the motherfucking... Exactly. She made up so many different stories. Y'all broadcast that shit. Who paid y'all? Who y'all work for? The fuck? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I'm gonna put up a motherfucking protest. Or some shit. Mom, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm something gonna be done about this shit because I'm not gonna keep living like this. I'm not gonna keep walking the street homeless. Give me my forty, my forty acres, of land and my meal. Give me my shit y'all stole from my ancestors. That's what y'all do, y'all motherfucking thieves. And then y'all wanna talk about somebody in jail for crimes and shit. Y'all the motherfucking criminals. I ain't no criminal. I don't sell drugs. I ain't involved in drugs. I don't steal. I don't do no crime. What the fuck? I'm just a black woman in a white man's world. The fuck? Or a black man's world. Whoseever world it is. It's somebody's world. The fuck? It ain't mine. It ain't no female's world. It's a white man or a black man. And I don't give a fuck. The Lord know my heart, though. The Lord know who I am. You hear me? I don't need nobody to believe who I am. You hear me? I don't need nobody to believe that I ain't hurt my child. You hear me? I know. God know. And I'm going to still be walking the motherfucking streets. Because the police not going to touch me. Bitch, please. You're not entitled to shit. Nicole, have mercy. Mallory says this video was interesting to her. So let's see. I'm sorry about the language, you guys. There's nothing that I can do about it. You know, I curse, but. Mm. <laughs> My whole thing is, why the police got me hemmed up talking about some, I'm in katoos with the, with the father and shit. I'm not in katoos with nobody and shit. The fuck? I gave y'all DNA samples. I gave y'all everything y'all needed from me. And y'all want to say my daughter is deceased all because y'all say a man told, y'all say her father told y'all that she was deceased? The only reason I think that he could tell them that is that he he took my baby and he don't want me involved in my baby's life. That's the only reason why I can see that he told the police that and that he was with his girlfriend at the time. Some I don't I don't know I don't figure all this shit out, man. I'm fucking I'm fucking sick to my stomach, bro. This shit is making me sick, bro. The only way the only reason why the only way I can think of where my child is is that this bitch ass nigga took my baby, sold her because he had a whole nother family at the time and he didn't want to be involved involved with me. Or my family might die. My family might have took the house and took it. Wouldn't you know if your family went in the house and took your daughter? Wow. I don't know. Somebody do. The fuck? I don't give a fuck. And you know if your family is there at 10 o'clock at night. When it comes to my kids, Right? I'm sure they wouldn't have come through the window. Right? It's, everybody can get Everybody can get it for real. Because what the fuck is going on out here, bro? The fuck is going on? Motherfucker, steady trying to stop me. Steady trying to stop me, though. Motherfucking devil. 
Yeah. So she don't know if the daddy took the baby with his girlfriend or if her family came and took the baby. Okay. Real, she needs bro. to get it And together. if they think I'm going back to New York, they got another thing coming. I'm not going back to my fucking New York for what? So I can freeze to death and be out stuck cold in a homeless shelter and shit? The fuck? That's where you the are now. What's really going on out here? Right? These men are some cowards, bro. Niggas is cowards. Oh, wait, you can't go to the shelter because you got kicked out, right? So you're on the street. If you, you got my baby, what the fuck? Like, God really have to go through all this shit for real? Like, who got her? Who got her? I, and and uh, the only way I say that the father must got her is because why they allow his girlfriend to stalk me all them years? Why was she allowed to get away with stalking me all those years? And she used to date him. She'll tell you herself she used to date him. The police stopped her on the motherfucking on the motherfucking way here and asked her what was her relationship with him. I would look at you side eye too if my old man was sleeping with you on the side. What you think? What was her relationship? But uh, I don't know. She didn't talk about it. You know, and then she, then they got the private investigator on the case. Like, from what I heard, the police told me he sell drugs. But the police asked me what this Jamar want from them, so they know who got my baby. You hear me? They asked me what the private investigator want from them. I don't know what the private investigator. I don't know. Y'all must know something that I don't. Know. <laughs> y'all act like y'all know where my baby at. Talking about what Jamar wants from y'all. What could he possibly want from y'all? What could y'all give Jamar? He worked for y'all? He worked for y'all? Or y'all know what he does? I don't know. Tell, Please tell me. He, he don't, but you do. wicked and crazy out here. Say it again. He don't, but she does. That's why she's not locked up. You know what they say about people who accuse people. They're the ones that's doing it. Right. Show this. Show the fuck is. But I'm off here. Somebody might be watching me make this video right now. I don't know. Like, this shit is crazy. My daughter is still missing. But who's stopping me from getting my jobs, though? Who's stopping me from moving forward? A whole lot of motherfucking people. Because they some haters, hear me? The devil hating on me. They're trying to stop me through other people and shit. That's how that shit go. That's how that shit go. This bitch allowed to stalk me for four. For five years, this bitch is allowed to stalk me. But she won't tell her fans that she was involved with uh, the, the father, though. She won't tell her fans she involved with the father. How was this bitch allowed to stop me? The hook? Some bullshit, bro. Straight bullshit. I don't know who behind my daughter's disappearance, but when I find I'm going to give me a gun. I'm going to give me a car. I'm going to start blasting that motherfucker. That's what I'm going to start. Blasting who? When she finds out who took her daughter. That... Oh, she's going to put... Mm -hmm. I'm going to shut up. That's a death threat. So in other words, she's going to take her own life. She says this. So Andrew Terry said that he doesn't have my child. He dropped me off and left me walking when I asked, did he have her? And was saying, don't ever contact him again. But, but the, po oh my God. But the police told me. Where am I? But the police told me that and told me to be quiet. Quiet about it. Hold on, your screen is small. But the police told me that and told me to be quiet about it, that he just wanted custody. So they told me that because they didn't want to help do their job or was 
or was they paid by who really has her? Because they told me if I didn't keep quiet, everything would go on. Everything would go on me. However, Terry wants to play it is what they told me. But I asked Terry over the years. He told me no. And how is his ex-girlfriend able to stalk and harass me the last five years clout chasing? They even stop her and asked her her relation to him. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. That didn't make sense to me. Neither. I can't read it. Because I can't read the way she talks. Or types. I know. Got a new spot till the cops come. Anybody got a tent? Why would they come? The only, reason, the only reason my cousin took my kids is because the youngest gets a check. She did the same thing when I was young with me and my siblings. My 13-year-old's birthday just passed. I had to drop her stuff off at the office. The thing about supporting your kids, you don't know if they got what you left. Dealing with social services is a headache. Family ain't shit but hoes and tricks, but they raising your kids, ain't they? Mm-hmm. The two youngest, because the two oldest are with foster care. And Mallory was saying that the Look at you. Oldest, she, the, she got a beautiful bulletin board, y'all. Bulletin board. Uh, Yeah. That the oldest one is getting ready to age Watching out. And shout out up. to the Aware Foundation for making it happen. Yes, the Aware Foundation. You know, they found a live that I had posted on Facebook. And um, they contacted a family member of the child that I was doing the live on. They and are awesome. she con Yeah, and she contacted me. And, and we're friends forever now. Like, yeah. They're really awesome, and I was able to help her out, so that was pretty cool. What's this one? And, um, you know, I just feel with Bobby opening up to her, explaining my daughter's case to her over the years. And you know, she had a GoFundMe, Mallory. Can you say that again? Did she have a GoFundMe? She did, and I think she still do. Okay, uh, all the torment that her group puts me through, you know, and stuff like that, you know, the slandering, the defamation, and people want to have defamation. The defamation is she talking? Is she talking about your group, Mallory? What'd you say? Is she talking about your group? Yes. Bullying, stalking her, and yeah, nobody's okay. bullying and stalking her. Is y'all <laughs> harassing and bullying it's, me? I have her blocked. It's defamation. She can't even pronounce it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things she can't pronounce right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Jessica. Here she is. You guys, Jessica's up here. Hi. How are you guys? Hi, Jessica. Thanks for coming up. Hi, Jessica. Welcome. Yes. Um, thank you guys for having me on here to talk about my beautiful baby. She is beautiful. Yes, she is. And it's driving me Hey, Jessica. Crazy. Let me cut the camera. Hey. hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Good. That's good. Yeah, so... Um, as I was saying, thank you guys for having me on here um, to talk about Ariana. I know it's a lot. I've been posting a lot of things on my page and people don't understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from. So I want to tell the whole story um, of how Ari vanished from my home that night. But um, I don't really, I just, I just answer no, you guys' yeah. questions. Yeah. Well, well, before, before you proceed, I want to um, uh, ask you, why do you keep saying that me and Andrew, me and him in a, in a relationship since middle school, when I don't know y'all from a can of paint? Well, he the one told me that y'all used to be in a relationship. I'm just going off what he said. But then again, he also said that I beat my baby to death and he buried her. So. Okay. But I need for you to stop doing that. Oh, yeah. I have stopped. I just started making No, you have not. And I need you to stop. Yes, I did stop. Because you know that's not true. 
But I, Mallory, I only went off what he told me, and I haven't been making any posts, any more posts about you guys. I've been keeping it strictly about. And Ariana. then another thing, I need you to stop doing. I need you to stop going around saying that I'm bullying and harassing you when I have you blocked. That's becoming very annoying. Well, you unblock me when you when you get ready. You're not, you're not unblocked, you, baby girl. You, you are un blocked. I'm saying when you get ready, you unblock me. And you know, and I will. About Ariana, but at this moment, I don't that. want to have a conversation. I didn't, you, you, can keep it, you can keep it on an Ariana note because I came on here to talk about my daughter. I ain't come and on here to fine. talk about all and the posts that but I, I made about clear clear what, that up. a week ago before I started because talking about my daughter. Because you're contacting the FBI and God knows who else about me saying that I've been bullying you and you need to shut that shit down. I don't play Mallory, that. I don't, can I just I'm say this though? Police. Can I just okay. say this though? You ain't got to act all hostile, none of this. But, but the go ahead here, and proceed. You excuse me, the goal here is to find Ariana. The goal here is to find Ariana. But I needed you to clear, goal, that, up. You to clear that up. I, and and you, also, goal, you need to stop telling people that um the PI isn't hired to. Girl, that money went the, to him. Girl, I don't know how y'all hire a PI because I ain't signed no paperwork for no PI to look for my daughter. You don't need to sign paperwork. When, when he was best friends with my uncle. Be no, I didn't. Your no, child I didn't. Out no, of your I didn't. You stole some proceed. donations. No, but I proceed. didn't. No, I didn't. You stole some donations because why would I sign some paperwork with that 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 dude that know my uncle? He's best friends with my uncle. He even said it out his own mouth, Mallory. But like I said, the goal here is to find Ariana. The goal here ain't to talk about what he said. She said, yeah, I said what I said and I meant it and I stand on it because that's what he told me. But he also that's also the same person who said. I beat my baby to death and he buried it. That's what type of person we're talking about right now. So all that is irrelevant. I'm not talking about you no more. I'm trying to keep it about my daughter because here we are talking about her and she's still missing. She's still missing. Ain't nobody doing a damn thing about it. They want to they wanna point the finger at me and the dad. I, I, I'm going to speak on me because he ain't here to defend himself. No, I'm going to speak on me That's because right. they want to accuse me and frame me and try to set me up for some shit that I didn't do. But and it's up, not Jessica. fucking you right. Said that Andrew said that Andrew lied and said that, he, that you gave him that baby bruised and scratched. You told right. him out of your own mouth that y'all got the arguing and Andrew swung on you and that baby was bruised and scratched. You told me that let years me, let ago. Me, let me tell you something, Mallory. And I have I you told, on recording and it's listen, posted on social media. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Calm down. Okay, so are you finished? Are you finished? All right, all right. Both of y'all, calm down. Let's Is she talk finished, about though? Is she finished so I can stand up for myself? Is she finished? Wait, yes, wait. Jessica. Go ahead, Jessica. Calm okay, down. so you said that I told you out your own mouth that happened that night. I did not tell you that. What I told you is that me right. and Andrew had a disagreement one day, and Ariana was right there, and he was swinging at me, and she accidentally got scratched, and I took her to her older sister to hold her he later called the clinic and told the clinic to um look out for abuse on my baby that's what he told the clinic but that did not happen on that night we did not have no 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 altercation that night hello i'm here All right. i was let's letting you talk. talk i'm sorry right let's talk without the yelling please I'm, I'm trying not to yell, and I don't really need to yell because I'm outside and I'm on 20%. My battery life is on 20%. So, you know, I'm trying That's to fine. um, That's I'm trying to be here with you guys to talk about my daughter, but I'm homeless and I'm out here in front of the shelter. So I might get bored because I'm steady yelling at Mallory, but I don't need to yell okay. because she just, she just won't answers. And I do too. Okay. Well, everybody wants answers, but we need you to speak the truth. Without I am speaking the truth. I am speaking the truth. I feel like right now this is a setup because she just called me out on something I did tell her, but I didn't tell her that happened that night. And I didn't tell her, I, I, I told her that, but it didn't happen that night. And what I just told, what I just cleared up and said, I, I spoke the truth of what happened. She this It's her word against my, my word. And what I'm saying is right. What I'm saying correct. I'm not saying she lying. I'm saying she got it wrong. That's what I'm saying. All right. Okay, what Jessica, is this is your daughter. Can you tell us what kind of can you tell us what kind of baby Ariana was? Yes. Um happy. Ariana was a very happy baby. She you there? You got disconnected. Jessica? Mallory? <laughs> I think they both got. 
disconnected. Let me see what Mallory. I'm saying. here. Okay. okay. I don't. I don't know what happened with Jessica. I don't know if she got booted. Maybe she'll be back. Well, she's still here somewhere. Okay, so y'all want to finish this video until she comes back? It's up to you. Okay. Well, she has done more child than I've done. I've been advocating for my daughter. If you if you do not know that, then you need to check out Kim Martin's page. I've been advocating for my daughter. You know, Ben, you know, that's a must. You know, my daughter's is a parent. But I have come to terms. I'm not going to say anything. Um, I'm not going to keep on coming on here talking about the same thing, um, about her making it about her because it's not about her, which I do want um, justice, all kind of justice. Arrows need to be, arrows of justice need to be pointed in every direction right now. And... That's with at Mallory, you know, a lot, you know, she needs to be held accountable for her actions of her stalking and slandering my name. So later on, I'm going to do a couple. Uh, oh, I don't want to play that. Oh, that's the Aware Foundation talking about the bulletin board, the billboard. That's what's called billboard. Um, I'm impatient waiting for this um, this reporter to reach back out to me. Welcome back, Jessica. Yes, I see that you have a video, an old video up there with me in my robe. Are you? Did I even authorize you to even put that up there while I'm talking? Like, that's crazy. Um, Mallory did. Hello? Again, Mallory we, gave me permission to play whatever. Yeah, on her but, group. but I didn't give you permission to play no video of me. This is a video of me. I didn't give you no permission to play that of me. And I'm tr right now, I'm trying to keep it um, as professional as y'all would like it. I'm trying to keep it as cordial as y'all would like it and stop it's screaming, but video. I can authorize you to put no video up of me or no Jessica, logo. watch yourself. It's, it's a, a public, public video. video. It's a public video of. that you made public that so they share it. So shut up. An apartment that she got me kicked out of, though. You want to post no, a video of the apartment. No, you got your own stuff kicked out. No, it's you a got public me video. You lied. It's a public video and they are allowed to share it. Everything is on my page. You don't own the right of that video. You don't own the right. You don't own the right. Like I said, you got your own stuff put out because you messed up with I'm trying to keep awareness to my enough. daughter. I'm trying to bring more awareness to my daughter while you on here playing. Like I said, the police did not issue an Amber Alert and to you my daughter. Like you I said, the you been stalking her. You've been, you been harassing for five, six years. Jessica, they cannot six plus, issue an six Amber years Alert. Now. You've been writing statements. You wrote a whole letter. on. You wrote a whole letter from out supposedly coming out of my daughter's mouth talking about, I believe my mama hurt me. Can y'all please find me? How is that not assaulting? How, how do you expect me not to be mad, Mallory, with you doing stuff like that? Like, Jessica, be for real. Jessica, they can't issue you, Your mama alert. told your oldest child No, they did. Were, and no, they did. Yes, I'm, she did. I'm, 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 I have I'm you on recorded saying it. Because y'all can't keep it real on here and the mess continues. Okay, bye. Later. <laughs> um, there is no vehicle know. involved. Um, there is nobody that know. was specific to taking this child. That's why they cannot issue an Amber Alert. That is correct. There, there are stipulations in issuing an Amber Alert. That is correct. If they have, don't have a specific suspect, they can't issue one. They need a vehicle description before they can issue an Amber right. Alert, I do believe. Correct. Okay, let's listen to her in her robe on a public video that I can't play. Right. But um, I would like to do something for my daughter's birthday. 
She's just messy, girl. She's just messy. Rather than read a letter. And I can't even get the reporters to record me. I can't get the reporters to even, they call me. But they talk about, they, they never want to open the door. They never call me back after they say they need to get permission from their supervisors. This has been going on ever since my daughter's disappearance. I'm really sick and I'm really tired. Like, I was talking to my Virginia. And ever since I've been here, I always wanted to run away and go somewhere else and, you know, find where life really is. <sighs> because run up for one okay. state. <laughs> And I just always seen it as prejudiced and racist, you know? And then when my daughter, my daughter vanishes from my home, you know, black people, hey, like, where's my community? This has nothing to do with your race, no. Jessica. It was a baby. Mallory, where's her community at that she's crying for? Why they don't want to be behind her? Because she refuses the community's help. That's a damn shame. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I can't bring those tears to my eyes. She I'm ran crying. when the PI was higher. Her and Andrew. Oh Jesus, the one you didn't hire. Correct. Express <laughs> the pain that I feel from not having a community that's there for me. My daughter, what if it was your child? But this girl, Mallory, she's been advocating for my daughter, supposedly advocating for my daughter. She's so fake. She started off advocating for the father. And she started, because I was advocating with Ken, because I couldn't make Is everything she says have your name in it? Pretty much. She loves Goodness the way gracious. you taste it because she can't keep your name out of her mouth. <laughs> wow. And so my daughter's disappearance. And I'm like thinking like, hey, you know, the father came in my house and he took my job because we didn't agree on custody. You know, that's what I thought at the time. But since I Wait, that's the first one I heard of that one. Because they didn't agree on custody. I thought you wanted to put her up for adoption. I thought you didn't want custody because you didn't want to be a mom no more. Or you just wanted child support. She filed for custody and child support at the same time. I've met over, up over, with him over the years. He was, he's expressed to me that he's not the father. Oh. Huh. He's expressed to me to keep his name out of Katoos with Ariana. I want to say he's the father because the date scientifically and mathematically add up to him. But I can't express the pain that I feel from lack of support from my own community. You know what I've been getting since my daughter's disappearance? <laughs> right, stop. Hate. My own hate crime. Jessica, I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk. I'm going to get off so that you can talk um, and give your side of what happened that night. I know you're still on, so just go ahead. I'm listening. She's not up here at the moment. Yeah, you can add her back. She's not backstage she, at all. Yeah, she dropped down. She left. Jessica, if you're in the chat, uh, come back oh. on stage. <laughs> People follow me. They yell, they yell nasty things out their cars at me. I don't see no I'm tears. I'm for a job so I can donate to my baby's GoFundMe because I'm not the type to ask anybody for anything. Nobody owes me anything. I owe it but to you myself, said they did. They owed you 40 acres. Say it again, but Cherry. You, but 
she said nobody owes me anything but you but she said they did they owed her 40 acres and something else so which is it that's a missing child to find employment to donate to my daughter's go fund me like i I'm was so I want to know how much money she raised on this GoFundMe. <laughs> Mallory, do you know? And where she used the money? What for was the question? How much money has she raised on the? How much money has she raised on the GoFundMe? And where only the money that she donated. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So nothing really. Why are you going to go on your own GoFundMe? The cops, they let people run up on me. They let people stalk and harass me. What you need to GoFundMe for if you got money to donate to it? Exactly. Will it be oh, over Jessica, the video? Wait, pause it. They let people... <laughs> pause it. Jessica, you're still here. You're welcome to come back up here and speak your... What happened that night? Because I don't, this is all that I've seen, Jessica. I if you I come up here, Mallory will drop down so that you can talk. I'm just showing what I've seen in the group. I'll drop the link down for you again if you need it, if you want to come up. Mallory, oh, she did drop down. Oh, wait, there she is. Hold on. Hold on one second, Mallory. All right. This link is for Jessica only. Go. I'm showing. I'm showing old videos because this is all that I have to show. Go ahead, Mallory. And they are public. Um, I apologize. <laughs> she just do something to me. So, um, Jessica, you can come back on so that you can talk and I'm going to leave and I'll be watching. <laughs> all right i'm not gonna play any more videos of right now the group jessica please come up okay jessica it's just you up here yeah are you there so, i'm here all right okay thank you for coming back mm -hmm, of course anything for eliana i just don't want to feel like i'm being attacked so all right. yeah that's can why you I... can you i'm sorry my phone keeps going off i feel like i'm being attacked on this channel i really do and i'm really trying to bring the awareness that my daughter needs um to be bald because I mean it's just like the detective I, I'm, I'm gonna call off the runner police department while I'm on here it feel like that they're more interested with framing me or setting me up for something I didn't do because their case overload because they have enough enough cases on their hands already so they're just trying to just I feel like be done with my daughter's case and say that I did something to her and they know good and well that I caught them the night of her dis disappearance and I reported her missing. And I also went down to the station when they asked me to. I cooperated with them and went down to the station and gave and answered questions. My breast was getting really full. Felt like I was gonna get an infection in them if I didn't release them. So I had I told them I had to go home. But anything they needed from me, they could give me their business card. I took their business card and I went home, pumped out my milk and went to the back to the apartment to see if I could find any clues or anything, um, any signs or any forced entry or anything um, around my house. I even spent the night there, but then when I didn't have, I didn't see anything, I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't be by myself at that moment um, through the night like that because it just, my baby was gone and I just like nothing felt ever, nothing felt the same like you did every night with her being beside me. It, it felt completely different. It felt weird. 
it felt crazy, and I'm just like, I cannot really be here, like, this is, this is not, this can't be happening to me, you know, like, why me? Jessica, what I don't understand is when I read that when Andrew came back to your house to talk to the police, he his pants was wet and muddy. Do you know why? Um, I, It was reported to me. He said that his pants weren't like that. I don't know. Um, the detective didn't, didn't tell me that, but I did read it in a... Um, I did hear the officer ask him um, why was his pants muddy and why was his face flushed. And his response was he was moving a freezer at work or something. Not at not at that moment he said that he had nothing to say at that moment but i heard through the grapevine that was his response i heard that um the police went to go ask his job and they was like well we're sorry to they had renew uh released a news uh statement on the television saying something about that i just forgot saying that he was no longer an employee there and that he wasn't moving a freezer Jessica, can I ask you about the godmother and why you put a 50000 hit out on her? I didn't put a $50,000 hit out on my godmother. I said that my godmother paid a $50,000 hit for me. That's what I said. That's what I, and then again, that, that was hearsay. I didn't hear it out of her mouth and I don't understand where, why I would ever repeat something that I heard through the street anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, that was hearsay, and, and, and it just made me look crazy when that came out there like that, because the people like, what, $50,000 hit? And then I'm like, yeah, how, how, why, how, how would she pay a $50,000 hit, and who was who she paying it to? But I remember um, doing the investigation with Ellie officer detective on the case, uh, my daughter's case, asked me, um, told me, he was like, this is now this is what they told me like i can't believe they have told me some of the the crazy things that the, that they told me throughout my daughter's case but they told me that andrew just wanted custody of his daughter and it was fifty thousand dollars to start the case why would andrew tell mallory to check around um the house for her body i don't know I don't know. I think that Andrew thinks that I really did something to my daughter, and I don't understand why he would ever think that about why he would ever think that about me. Like, why would I hurt my child over you? First of all, you wasn't paying any of my bills. You wasn't doing nothing for me but just laying the pipe. I have had men who have bought me cars, paid bills, and all kinds of stuff. And you want to say I snapped out and hurt my child because you didn't want to be with me? It completely sounds insane to me. Like, you know, yeah. that's just I, I can't even believe he would say that. And to this day, it infuriates me. It enrages me because what I look like hurting my child over you. Are you really that something is not clicking up in your head to where you think that I would move like that? I already had four other kids. And yes, I know it was going to be stressful on me having a fifth baby, him saying that he's not the father. He said that he wasn't the father. Um, but he was willing to still be there anyway if I did a DNA test. I didn't agree with how he wanted a DNA test done. So I was like, no, I'm not getting a DNA test because you want to do an at-home DNA test, and I want a professionalized DNA test. Well, why didn't Andrew tell you to go to Ohio? Is Ohio a trick-off? Uh, why did he tell me to go to Ohio? Right. Do y'all have any? Do y'all have any like documentations of him telling me to go to Ohio? I'm just asking the question. But I'm just asking though. I don't even. What did you see that at on my page about Ohio? Where did Ohio come from? Mm. I was just told to ask that question. Yeah. Where did Where did Ohio come from? I don't know. I want to feel to visit my. Uh, I want to feel to visit my dad's ex girlfriend. And I stayed with her for a little while, and I got a job, and I had a whole boyfriend and stuff. So there was no Andrew Terry involved in. Saying that you told, he told you to go somewhere to take to make money, but can't remember he told where. told you to go somewhere to make money? I never said that. Andrew never 
There was a live that you and Mallory and Andrew did. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I can't speak on that. I didn't hear nothing about that. So I don't want, I'm telling you what I know about Ohio. And I went to Ohio to live with my dad's ex girlfriend. And I got a job and I found a boyfriend and stuff. And Andrew Perry was not involved in that. So I'm not going to talk about Ohio. All right. Why did the godmother, or why, why do you think the godmother isn't advocating for her godchild? Oh, well, she was saying, to be honest with you guys, I'm not on here to lie. I'm on here to keep it honest. It's going to break my heart when I say this, but she was saying, we already know she's not with us anymore. So, um, but nobody knows that for sure. Right. No one knows that for sure, but that's just what she always tells me. Like, you already know that she's not here with us anymore and just move, try to move on and try to be there for your other kids and stuff. And I'm just like, huh? Like, I'm still trying to process what the detectives told me about my daughter and I know that it's not true. And you telling me this, so I'm just like, dang, nobody, don't nobody believe my daughter is still here but me. Like, everybody wants to believe that she's deceased, even the people that's supposed to be close to Ariana. Like, I don't understand that. Now, are you in communication with his mother? No, I'm not. No. no. Do you still talk to the godmother? No, ma'am. Um, I but- read somewhere about adoption. Did either yeah. one of you guys want to put her up for adoption? Um, Andrew didn't believe that Ariana was his, so he was like, I was already struggling. He, his, his perspective was that I was already struggling before and that I should put Ariana up for adoption. And I'm like, you know, it would be giving her a good life since you don't want to be there, but I can give her a good life too. And he was like, you already struggling with the four kids you got. You need to seriously think about what's best for her. Right. How can how do you figure you can give her a good life when you're homeless? Two of your kids are oh, in foster care. Two of your other kids. Are like, you. Excuse me, ma'am. You're you're. It, it seems like you're insulting me, ma'am, because I was not homeless at the time of my daughter's disappearance or why I had her. I right, had but you were shortly after. House. Yeah, I had a two bedroom house, and then I had housing again after that, ma'am. So it's just like you're assuming. How can I give her a good life? I. I have income. I can get a part-time job. You know what I'm saying? I had support of her godmother. You know, I had different things going on in my life. I had. I also had another man on the side for paying bills and stuff and financial, you know, my financial strength. You know, that's just what it is. But you weren't homeless whenever she went missing, though. You had a home. Right, and that's what I was just trying to tell you, man. Right. That was just your assumption you threw at me. Okay, so there's two people up here. I'm Christy. This is me. I'm the one that said that you had a home when she went missing. The other one is Sherry. She's the one that was asking. She's the one that said, How can I give her a good home when I was home at the time? Yes, ma'am. I'm the one that talked to you on Messenger. The other one, Sherry, is the one. Right. I know know who everybody is. I can see. Okay. I'm glad I know that Sherry is the one who just said that, that. How can I give my baby? Uh, a good home and I'm right. and I have nothing and right. that, that's not that's not I wasn't like that at that time this has happened since my daughter's disappearance I am now suffering from homeless I am suffering from homeless for my own choices no one made me homeless I made myself homeless just like um see the thing I can I can sit up here for my daughter and take ownership for all the things that I said that's not right do I make sense to a lot of people? Probably not. Do I make sense to me? Yeah, I make a whole lot of sense to me because I know everything that has went on in my daughter's case. I, I'm not dumb. I'm not retarded. You know, I'm not stupid or nothing. Oh, nobody's saying talk. that. You know, you know like I, I can sit up here and talk. I told Mallory I apologize. You know, regardless of if I heard hearsay about her and Terry Dayton, that's really irrelevant to Ariana being missing. The, the whole thing of it is is that she has been advocating that she has been keeping Ariana's name alive 
And um, I appreciate for her that. Do I agree on everything that she does? No, I don't. But she, she probably don't agree on everything that I do. She probably don't agree on nothing I do. But, you know, that's cool. But the whole thing here is that my daughter is still missing. And she has advocated for my daughter. And that go a long way. Right. She's kept her name out there. Yeah, and I have two. And that's, why she, and that's one thing I don't agree on with Mallory about. Because I have two. I have showed up uh, to places meeting Mallory when I know that she don't like me. You know what I'm saying? I have, you know, show, I mean, I ain't going to say she ain't like me, but I, I don't like some of the work that she does. And it's, it's just what it is, what it is. And I have still showed up and tried to, just like now I'm on this live. And I have been accused of, you know, like, I just been felt like I've been attacked since I've been on this live, you know, and I and I still came back on here because I want the police to see this. I want anybody who who's investigating my daughter, who's who's who who's ever on the case to see this. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not playing about my daughter. You know what I'm saying? If you got something you can arrest me on, come get me. If I you felt like I've done something wrong, come get me. I'm here in Roanoke. I'm walking the streets. I'm right here. If I felt like I did something to my daughter, I would personally turn myself in. But I'm here on this live today to tell y'all that my daughter is not deceased. My daughter is alive, and they can, they can, they can say that. They can, they can make those assumptions all they want to go on um, the news and say, well, she's presumed deceased. I don't understand how y'all can say she's presumed deceased when y'all have a whole uh, so-called um, statement y'all say y'all have. Y'all, y'all say y'all have a statement that the father said that I beat her to death and he buried her. Somebody should be in jail, right, right, right off the top off that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. There's no if and answer but about that. If, if he's saying that and y'all have evidence and y'all saying that my daughter is presumed deceased, somebody should be in jail. If she's right. not deceased, then where is she? Right. If she's not deceased, then where is she? I call her a miracle baby because I don't know where she is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a mother and I have theories. I'd be a damn fool to sit up here and say I don't have no theories of what I think may happen to my daughter. It's been it's going on six years. It's a whole lot of theories that I got what I think happened to my daughter. And the only time I said I hurt my daughter is the time around trial when they said they was going to frame me and lock me up if I didn't stay quiet. If they say everything was leaning towards me because I was up at night. You got, you got, I was up at night. You got LA, LA detectives. You got them on the news saying, oh, your daughter is presumed to see and it's just going through your head, in and out through your head, constantly on your mind. And then you you heard that the, the, the alleged father is saying that I beat my baby to death and he buried her. You, you got him saying that. And then you got your family members around you whispering. Then you got people on social media and you reading all of that. And you're going to you be like, damn, you know, like you're going to a place of insanity in life. So I actually start to believe what people are, right. are saying. Right. So, you know, you, that, that point, and then when you on I, at the time, I was on colonoscopy at the time. I was on some heavy, um, some heavy um, psychotic drugs. So, you know, I might have did get on the internet and say some things that I, you know, people misconstruct or some things that I shouldn't have said because I remember the advocate at that time, she sent me a message and she was like, did you say this? And I'm like, huh? I looked at the message, I'm like, huh? No, I didn't say that, but it was a, a time when my mind just, went insane and I'm like you know where is my daughter because I can't make sense of where my daughter is one minute she was laying on the bed and she was missing she was gone and from 9 30 to 9 45 and then you know I can't make it up because I spent an hour on the phone you know talking calling her alleged father and saying if he had her because at this time I thought that he had her you know what else what else, what else am I going to think at that time you know I got. I can't think of nothing else because I know that me and him was disagreeing on uh, um, on custody. It was the, the only thing we agreed on is her name. That's the only thing we agreed on. But everything else we could not agree on. And that doesn't make me a bad mother. That doesn't say I should have to hurt my child because this man didn't want to be there because I was still willing to take care of my child. And I'm still willing, homeless and all, to take care of my beautiful baby that I birthed. My life that I almost lost on the table. I almost lost my life. I almost lost her life that day. And nobody just understands what I've been going through. And this isn't easy for me. It's not. Now I do have every day. I have two questions. Was she in the bed or was she in the bassinet? 
Can you clarify she, that? She was in my bed. In the bed. Okay. Yes. And now, why would you ask Andrew if he was setting you up for murder? Because Andrew came over my house after his um, after his children's mother found out that I was pregnant, and he came over in a rage, and he was like, um, "If she's mine, I'm taking her. You'll never see her again. I'll change her name. Um, you won't be in her life. You won't." You know, he was just saying all kind of crazy things to me, and I'm and I didn't know that night. You know, it was scary for me that night. You know, maybe. I'm, I'm not saying that he did anything. I'm not saying that he took her because I don't know. What I'm saying is that I was scared that night. So I did text him that night because where is my daughter? Like, who is doing this to me? Who has a vendetta against me? Who wants to see me hurt? Who wants to take my daughter from me? You know, I didn't know. Okay, now another one is when you noticed that Ariana was missing... Why did you call him and talk to him for an hour on the phone instead of calling the police? I did not I did not call him. We did not stay on the phone for an hour. I called him back and forth. I, I was hanging up on him because I wanted to be convinced that he didn't have my daughter before I called the police because I know that the poli I know that the police is our crazy. I know that they're trying to set you up. You got some good cops and you got some bad cops. You got people in jail for stuff that they didn't even do. So I was a little scared, but I didn't stay on the phone with Andrew for an hour. What happened was I was trying to convince myself that he didn't have my daughter, so I kept calling him back. Sometimes he didn't even answer, but when I was able to get him on the phone, I said, you know, enough is enough. An hour has passed. You know, I got to call the police regardless of if they try to put it on me, if they try to say I did something to my baby or whatever. I got to report this. All right, now going back to the godmother, do you recall the prayer that the godmother prayed over her? Um, um, I know, I remember a piece of it where it says, um, I prayed over her, uh, I prayed over her, and then I went home. That's all I remember. I don't know if I'm right or... And did she testify in court at all? She did testify in court, but I can't remember her testimony. Her testimony, um, Mallory can tell you better than I can. Okay, all right. And now, who is Kim Martin? Kim Martin was the um, lady advocating for Ariana before um, I start um, before I start accepting Mallory's help in the case. I, okay, you, can you speak up a little? Because I'm having a hard time like hearing you. I think other people okay, are. Okay, Kim Martin was an advocate that was advocating for um, Ariana when she first um, vanished. Okay, thank you. And now, what happened on the Steve Wilco show? I heard a little bit about that. Um, Steve Wilco's. Um, I took the test. Um, I still haven't gotten the results back. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. I can't speak for Steve and his show, but the mm -hmm. guy on there, he just, um, he was acting a little weird. He, um, I don't know, ever since I start, you know, coming out with the videos about the Illuminati and the mob and all this, it's been people who, I don't, who, you think a lot of people is not watching your daughter's disappearance, but a lot of people are. And I guess, um, you know, he knew um, a lot about my daughter's disappearance because he was acting, I don't know, I just felt some type of way about him. So how would you say your experience was with the show? I, I think I did a, I think my my uh, results was, came out all right, like they should have been. Okay, then why did the Roanoke Police Department say that you failed your lie detector test? And I, don't know why they, I don't I don't know why they tell people that, but they told my mother that I only lied on one question if I if and that was if I thought Andrew would hurt her or not. That's the only question they asked you? No, that's not the only question they asked me. They they told my mother that's the only question I wasn't truthful about. And they also told me that too. So I don't know why they saying that I felt my polygraph test because that's a that's a big no no right there. I didn't fail anything. If I fail my polygraph test, and they saying that my daughter is presumed deceased, 
they can lock me up just off the strength of that, can't they? Right. You know, they're gonna they're gonna hold me and they're gonna keep up uh, uh they're gonna keep pressuring me until I crack. You know, they're gonna hide me down at that station 24 seven, telling me to come in, or they're gonna be pulling up on me 24 seven. If that that's what the case. Is me too, yeah. Jessica, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, that night, did you leave the kids by themselves at all? I did. Is that After, when you went um, to get a I cigarette or something? Yeah, after um, I noticed um, my daughter's disappearance, it wasn't right after. I was on the phone with the, um, Ariana's alleged father, and he kept telling me that he didn't have Ariana, and I just panicked. I didn't know what to do. I started pacing. I didn't, you know, I, I got scared. I was, I'm, this is serious. You know, my daughter is missing, and there's not, a, I didn't hear anybody come to my house. I didn't see anybody come to my house. So where did she go? So I'm panicking. I have mental health issues. So I'm sorry if I look crazy and not insane and not all together because I panicked and I went to the store, which is just down the hill from my street to get just down the hill, down the street to get a cigarette. It's only like a, a corner down. And at the time, my mind could only process that, yeah, her father has her because we can't agree on fraternity. We can't, he thinks that he has more money than me, that I can't support my child, you know? I'm sorry, one second. I'm trying to get so, there. Done. I had a question. And... <coughs> oh, ahead, yeah. So I wanted to ask you. So you went get the cigarette after she went missing. So the cigarettes, the cigarette smoke that you smelt. Um, you no, it wasn't didn't mine. Have a, it wasn't mine. You didn't have a cigarette at that time. No, I didn't have a cigarette at that time, ma'am. And I wasn't smoking because... I was breastfeeding, so that that wasn't my cigarette smell. I didn't even have one. All right. They have questions in the chat, too. Okay. So Let you me. say you aren't smoking because you were breastfeeding, but yet you went to the corner store to get a, a cigarette. No, I'm just saying I wasn't because I had just got through breastfeeding, so I, I didn't want to smoke right then and there. But you stopped smoking because you were breastfeeding, but you went to no, the I, No, I didn't stop smoking before I was because I was breastfeeding. I was smoking on and off. Okay, all right. All right. I want I just wanted to make that clear. So you were smoking, you just didn't smoke before you got before you breastfed her at that time. Yes, because they tell you that um you shouldn't you shouldn't smoke and um but like, like you shouldn't smoke and then breastfeed right away. So I was trying to practice not doing that. All right, got it. Um, I know the article that I read um may have incorrect information in it, and that's why I'm glad that you're up here talking to us. And one question that I had, Jessica, was in the article. It says that. You admitted to making false statements to the police whenever you testified for the defense. But it said, this is what I'm confused about. It said, at various times, she said Ariana had smothered after falling asleep during breastfeeding or that she was kidnapped by an adoption agency or that she had sold her, then admitted none of those statements were true. And I was just wondering why, why that would even be said, those things. Um, I, I said, um, I told you guys that I was on like five medications at the time of trial. And those probably were no statements were made um, during trial because I was on like five different medications. And I was in fear of going to trial that they was going to have me hemmed up. I mean, they were already saying that my daughter was presumed deceased and they and I knew that they didn't have any evidence because I didn't do anything to my daughter that night. And, you know, so why would they be saying that my daughter is presumed deceased? So, you know, after everything they done told me about the Illuminati and all this stuff about if I if I talk, it's a bomb in my house and my me and my kids are in there. So you telling me it's a bomb in my house and if I talk, you saying that you're gonna bomb my house up. 
Also, you saying that if I talk, you gonna front, you gonna put my daughter's disappearance on me and stuff. So at the time, I was on all them psychotic, psychotic meds and stuff. You know, that's trial and stuff. It's serious and stuff. And I just felt like, you know, either way, they gonna, you know, they gonna, they gonna try to put it on me. They gonna say I done something, and it's just no way out. You know what I'm saying? Just like I didn't told them to investigate the adoption agency because that was one of my theories. But one of the, the, I never said that my daughter was deceased. You know, I never told them that. And if I did, that was around trial time. And I was on all the medications and stuff. And I was scared for my life. Like, I just didn't see. I'm like, I'm tired of y'all threatening me with the Illuminati. If y'all going to do something, just go ahead and do it. You know, like, I'm tired. Jessica, they gave you a lie detector test knowing you was on all the medications? I wasn't um, on um, the medication at the time they gave me a lot. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that was only during trial. I had just got, I was fresh out of um, the med- the mental health, the mental health, the mental hospital. Oh, the, a hospital? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I had changed it from straight from the hospital to trial. Are you uh, still are you still on all of those medications? No, I'm on one medication. I'm on a Bilify right now. That's a mood stabilizer. Does it help you? I hope it helps you. I was uh, on that it before. Helps, it helps my mood a little bit. Um, I still find myself moody. Um, it's been rough the last couple of days because I've been thinking about my daughter, trying to speak out for my daughter and you know, trying to um, get the detectives. They say there's multiple detectives on Ariana's case right now. Right, right. Trying to get them to give her an age progression um, picture of what she would look like at six years old. Because um, she'll be six next month on the 28th. So, you know, that'll really, you know, that'll really make me feel good if they did that. It's such Jessica. Bad. My daughter is deceased. Jessica. How you got up there? Hey, can you um tell us why you told Andrew's attorney that she was gonna bring Ari um to the courthouse that day? Uh that's because my family was saying that just to say that he had her. I guess they were scared that I was gonna go to jail too because they didn't know. Or I'm trying to say that my family had something to do with her disappearance. Can you tell us who the family members were? Who told you that? Um, I'm not. They're not here to defend themselves, so I'm not going to go into who told me that. Mm-hmm. Jessica, did you put yourself in the hospital, or did they put you in the hospital for like a 72-hour hold or something? No, they put me in the hospital. They came up to my house, and they took my kids because... Um, they had been up in my house again, threatening me about the Illuminati and stuff. So I lost my mind. And then I had a lot of people in my community saying, a lot of people that don't believe Terry had anything to do with my daughter's disappearance, they start spreading rumors saying that I was the cause uh, why they hadn't seen um, Terry, um, that I was the cause of why he was, I, I set him up and stuff like that. It's a lot of people in my community that, you know, really believe he's innocent. And they try to start accusing me of having some, of setting him up. So I really lost, really lost my mind at that time. Cause I'm like, cause me and Terry before all this, we used to be friends, you know, um, you know, we had a, we had a baby together. We got a daughter together. Everybody say that's the alleged father, but I know he's the father. He can say he's not the father all he wants to. I don't care what he say. I know he's the father, you know. And it's not because I want him to be a father. It's because he is the father. You know, I'm not um, obsessed. I'm not stalking him. I don't, You know, I don't have a car. I don't drive. You know what I'm saying? Why would I stalk and harass him? You know, now I don't even want to talk to him, talk about him on his live because he's not here to defend himself. You know, I ain't trying to bring no drama, no chaos to nobody or nothing. You know, I'm trying to get my life straight because when it all boils down, my daughter is missing and I don't have no peace, you know, until she's Okay, what about Sydney? How did Sydney get involved? 
Sydney. Mm-hmm. Um, Sydney got involved because, um, as I remember reading the articles, they well before my daughter's disappearance, Sydney got involved because, as I as I was saying, that me and Andrew wasn't um, quite getting along. He didn't believe Ariana was here, so I was talking to his cousin. I me and him. We never met or anything like that, but we talked over online. I've known him for over 30 years, so he's a good guy. But um, he came into play because I started talking to him, telling him, you know, like I was pregnant and stuff. And, you know, Andrew was saying that he uh, wasn't the father. He didn't believe he was the father. And I was telling Sydney, you know, if I tried to raise her, and I found out I couldn't do it in the labor arm, would you take her? But I was just trying to make conversation. I wouldn't give my daughter to somebody, you know, I just only know as an associate. And then it was, I, I was I was on your page and I saw where people were saying that he was uh, probably the father, that I said I had slept with him. And that's not the case. I never slept with Sydney, you know. That's what I was yeah. confused about because they have, they talk about the cousin in the article and I was a bit confused about that. So I'm glad that you're explaining it. Yes, ma'am. Oh. We, um, we talk when some it? and sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we talk some and, you know, he was saying, um, we were talking about meeting up and stuff like that. I was just trying to make Andrew jealous, but we never met up. We never did anything, you know. You say you never met up, but didn't you state that um, Sydney stated that he would take the baby? Yeah, but we we didn't never meet up. He didn't never come to my house. And you never stated that you was around. He took he picked you up and brought you around family. No, I never stated that. Okay. He he never uh uh-uh. uh no. He and remember he had a girlfriend at that time too, I believe. Because they was trying to say I was trying to break them up or something like that. I don't remember. Do you plan on getting a DNA test done? And if so, when? There's. Um, I don't know how to get a DNA test because the samples I gave to the police, they never gave them back. So, I mean, I don't. I don't know there are do plenty. That. There are a lot of companies out there that do a DNA test. And then, and then, and then. Do I have to do a DNA test? Because I read in one of the articles that search warrants did come back and did find Terry as being Ariana's father. Um, it would be wise to do one. Yeah. To confirm to confirm paternity. So how would I get her? Do I request to get her samples back from the police? And the police they they said they're building up a case right now. So they said that they can't release um yeah, they're not going to release I'm, anything. So, I, Just, they, so why do you think that Roanoke Police Department has not reached out to Virginia State Police for their assistance? Um, they did when um during the search. Am I correct? They did, but they also stated that they are willing, more than willing, to help. So why do you think that Roanoke Police Department has not reached out to them for their assistance? Um, I don't know. I couldn't answer that for you, Molly. Like I said. Um, I believe the Ronald Police Department knows where my daughter is. I, 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 I've always I believed that. I've always Why would they keep that a secret? Because they're corrupt. Because they're they're getting paid, if, and and that's what I was saying. Who's I, paying I mean, them? Really, like, who do you think is paying them? Who whoever got her is paying her. Like they're not doing all this for nothing. Like they're not trying to frame me and set me up because what I got from missing and exploded children the other day is that they're building a case up. She didn't say pre- pre- precisely on who, but I already know she was talking about. She was talking about me. She said they're building a case up and they're not going to give you um, an age progression picture. Um, and I was just like, yeah, okay. So she didn't yeah. tell me that. She told me that um, the de- that that Delp would have to give them permission to do the age progression picture. And then I was oh. told that Delp said that he wants to save the community of heartbreak. Right. Well, I, I'm not. That's why we like ain't got one, and that's why I went ahead and paid for for us to have one. Yeah, so, how but, do you feel um, about the age progression picture that we posted? I uh, I don't know. Like, 
you know, it, it ain't, it ain't, it's not professional. I'm keep it real. I'm gonna keep it honest. It's not professionally done. It's not that the city saying that they give, they, they care and they, they put in what need to be put out there. Like, no, my daughter. So, don't what have do you no think that? Let that me ask you care. this: What do you think that Rono Police Department told the told the uh, Steve Wilco show when Steve contact was well, Steve show contacted them? Like, I, what do I you think? Even, I don't even care. I don't even care what they did. But at this point, Mally, I don't care what they told them because at this point, I just no. I think I'm, I'm asking because me. I found it very suspicious of how that day oh. went. Those couple of days that we were there, I found it very suspicious. And that day, and when I went to you, when I had walked back to the door and I looked at your face and it was like, ha type of shit. And it just made me blank. Like, it just, that's why I flipped out the way I did. Who said, who was looking like ha ha? Like, when I had came back to the door, when they explained to me, like, oh, it was technical difficulties. And so what did, what exactly did they tell you? Because I never got your side. Now, Mallory, you now, Mallory, you know when you came back to the door, you was on the other outside of that door. You know I was in there flipping the, the heck out on them. You people. was, but when you came to the door and we met eye contact, it was more like a ha ha bitch, like we ain't going for it. And I, that I pissed felt that, me off. I felt that vibe. I felt that vibe from you. That's why I'm looking at no, you like that. Never. And, and that's why and that's why I started flipping out the way that I did because of what they had told me. Did, and I did you like, not hear me say? If they were, if they was to arrest you or do anything to you because you was gonna spaz out, that we was gonna turn that motherfucker up. Did you not hear yeah, me say I, that? I, I, I don't know what I heard, but I know what. And they I told said me. that I would hire powerful attorneys to t to take their asses down if anything happened to you. And then when you left, you threatened that you was gonna jump out of the car and all kinds of stuff, right or wrong. I did because of what they so told that's me. why I want to know what they told you because they told us that it was technical difficulties. Then it went from um technical difficulties to uh Steve and his wife having issues and to the higher ups having problems. I'm just trying to figure out what happened because, like I told the ladies, I said, like really, I said if we go like back, I said, like so I said, what what did they tell you that day? What they told me the same thing that it was technical issues, and I told that to um the girl Lena, whoever was with me. I told that to her she asked me what had happened. And I told her I said, "So tell Mallory." She know that I was at the airport cussing her and everything. Y'all see but me? But let me okay. Off. Let me I'm, ask you this. I don't understand so, why y'all acting like I had something to do with it when I'm the only one that was finna go to jail. We was all going to jail that day. <laughs> but y'all was on we the outside of the jail. door, and I was in there. Going the fuck off, screaming, losing my motherfucking mind after what they had told me, and I, so they, they told just me that told you it was technical difficulties, and then it, it that was it. Yeah, that's what they told me because they because I was them. I'm they so confused because Ariana's case matches up with Relisha Rudd's case, and you and her mama ate just a light, and they still had her on the show, and they still shot the show, but Ariana's case they didn't even shoot the show, so that's why I was I'm I'm still confused to this day. And I'm actually glad that we didn't even go on there because I think it, it would have been a shit show anyway. But, Jessica, yeah, I'm not, I'm at the end of the day, this is what I want to tell you. At the end of the day, you know that me and you got a love-hate relationship, and I'm just so fucking mad at you right now. And I want to get over it. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you really just tell the truth and, and say what actually happened that day, you have more support than you that I didn't told you a thousand and mi a million times that you got more support mm -hmm. than that you can ever think of. Let me let me, let me tell you something, Mallory. Mm -hmm. I'm on here for Ariana. I'm on here for my daughter. All the years that I've been going through this, I've been going through it alone. I'd have had you, Jessica. And your... You have never been alone. Listen, I have been by your side. I've been by your side from the be very you beginning, been, Jessica, been and Ariana you know and that. You, you switched up on me when we hired the private investigator, and you know you the convers the first the conversation that you had with him. That's why I need you to stop with your bullshit. Girl, I need I you to bullshit. stop Everything with it. Everything I speak is the truth. Everything I speak is the but truth. But Jessica, you it's know what you nation. told him when you it's first spoke to him. What, did you, it's, it's what did you tell him? Jessica, what did you tell that man? Ain't nobody my friend. Ain't nobody my friend. Jessica, I've been fucking with you from the very fucking with you and Andrew from the very beginning. And I'm all I want and y'all know good and god doggone well. I don't even fuck with the police. I don't fuck with 12 at all. 
I don't give I don't a fuck if y'all killed her or not. Just tell me what a goddamn child is. That's girl, it. And I, I told y'all that. Girl, if I knew what my child was, you think that I would But y'all steadily going, uh, going would... behind fake pages and shit, fucking with me. Like, just girl, leave me alone not, with that I'm... shit. Just tell me like what y'all did to the child. Like I said, that's I it. That's all I want to know. But until then, I'm going to continue to put pressure on everybody. And me too. And me too. And I'm going to continue to speak my truth and I'm going to continue to stand my ground. I don't care who don't like it. I don't care if the matrix is against me because that's what it feels like. The matrix is against me. White supremacist is against me. The police Just trying to they ain't got nothing to do with the price yes, of tea in did. China. Yes, it did. Whoever, you cannot it tell me that you don't know what happened to your child. Do you see the size of the apartment that she went missing from? If that door was to correct, just listen to me. If that door was to correct, Anybody in that house would hear you. You you said yourself that your son Girl, no said. Way. No way. You Girl, said no yourself no way. that your son said that he saw no a masked way. man and Andrew come in that door. You said that. No, he said he saw. You two was planning your daughter's funeral. He ain't say nothing about no Andrew. Who was planning? Yes, a he funeral? did. Now, Jessica, all of it's on the internet. That's why. She exactly. Left. And that's okay because it's the motherfucking truth. She said it. It's the motherfucking truth. Because I'm telling y'all, in 2025, I'm setting this motherfucker off. Andrew and Jessica will be going to jail. Do you hear what I'm saying? They going to jail. I hope she it ain't no more mail. just a nice guy. I'm tired of hearing this shit. I'm tired of being nice to your motherfucking ass. Just tell the people what the fuck you did with your child. Like I told you, I'm not no police ass bitch. I don't give a fuck about the system. I don't give a fuck about the police. I don't give a fuck if you and Andrew go to jail or not. Just tell me where your baby is so we can bury her. Do another fucking fake page so that I can bury your baby. That's it. Give me her bones. That's the only thing I'm asking you for. Then all this shit will go the fuck away. Bitch, we got you on motherfucking text and video recording saying that you fuck with a with a bank account that you shouldn't have fucked with. You did that. Not me, not Andrew, not uh Gloria, not nobody but you. You touched a motherfucking account that you was not supposed to touch. So fuck you and Rono Police Department. It ain't even about Andrew. It's not even about Lucy. It's about Ariana fucking Renee Day. You did this to your fucking baby. You never wanted that baby. Matter of fact, I met a man who said that you had that baby on the side of the motherfucking road, bitch. Saying, take this child. A few days after you had her. Huh? What? Exactly. What I didn't hear that. She met a man, a man, it was some man that Jessica knew his wife. And Jessica had that baby on the on the side of the house or on that fit. It was like a it's a fence around that house. And she had that baby on the sidewalk in a car seat. And she was telling people she didn't want that baby. And just so happy his wife walked up. That's when she should have took Ari then. That's when she should have turned Jessica in then. But at the end of the day, like I said, I don't fuck with 12. I don't give a fuck of nothing about grown up police department. None of that. Just tell me where your child is. And fuck all this other shit that you did last year talking about, oh, my baby is at such and such park. Come get him. When you had hit us up at, at, at three, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's getting old. But I'm telling you, I'm on y'all ass next year. All y I'm telling you, everybody involved is going to jail. I gave y'all six years. You think the PI is a motherfucking problem. Oh, we about to have big problems come next year because she could be declared deceased and then it's going to be murder without a body. So you and Andrew need to think wisely. Lord, you're up. Do what you need to do because I'm coming for y'all throats. No more Mr. Nice Mallory. No more. I'm over it. Look at all the cases that they've tried people for murder without bodies and they've been convicted. And Jessica, look at if Corey. you ain't looked up um, Baby Cody's case, you better yep. look it up today. They just they 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 just been patting you on the butt. But I promise, Cody Bigby. But I promise you, I'm going to collaborate both of y'all cases together. Even if you didn't do it, 
you still going down. Because you was in the house with her. That house is no bigger than my fucking hand. Because, bitch, if somebody walked in that door, you was going to hear it. If somebody walked in that, in, in that bedroom, you was going to hear it. Trying to say a family member. Ain't no family member told you a motherfucking thing. And they ain't coming through the window. Only person that's going to come through that motherfucking window is that godmother, bitch. That's all you kept saying. Oh, uh, who could come to my come in my house between five and seven minutes? The godmother. Because she know. And I'm on her motherfucking neck, too. Because she going down, too. Come didn't for me, godmama. Didn't Jessica ask the godmother to adopt the baby also? That I don't know. I just know the godmama ain't shit. She ain't shit. She ain't never advocated for that baby. When Kim Martin was advocating for her, what did she do? She 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 sabotaged the whole thing. She sabotaged the whole thing. When Jessica and Kim had did a memorial and set up teddy bears and all that stuff outside of the house, Jessica, what did she do? If that's not suspect, then I don't know what is. You said yourself that the godmother put 50K on your head. You said yourself that um, you can't get your baby back unless you get 50K. I didn't told you. I'll give, give you 50K to get your baby back. Let's go to court. I even drove down the road note when I, that day that I knocked on your motherfucking door, bitch. Matter of fact, it wasn't even that day. It was the next day that I drove down there. I took you to the, I was taking you to the motherfucking wig office, bitch. And I told you, let's go down there and talk to them. Because them motherfuckers said that the baby wasn't even there when you came to your WIC appointment. When you um, told them that you was going from breastfeeding to formula. Talk about that. But see, when facts oh. start coming out, you don't want to talk. But you didn't want to go when, so that they can give an answer. Because when I went by myself, they said, Melody, I can't tell you anything. We need a mama here. But when I said, okay, Jessica, let's go. That's that day that I took you out to eat because we couldn't find a nail shop to go to. Because you said I was using the PI money. The PI gave us the money to go take your bitch ass out to eat. That was that day that we had that conversation. Fuck with me, Jessica. But I'm telling you, I'm coming for your neck and your neck and whoever neck next year. That's why I ain't doing shit this year. Because I need to, to save my money to come for y'all. For y'all daughter. It seems like they have a lot of players in the mix. What are you talking about? A lot of players in the mix, and nobody uh -huh. wants to talk. She did get her DNA test done. This makes me so mad. This beautiful baby, I couldn't have kids, and people will throw their kids away for nothing. Uh huh. This so is nice. too much. That's Mallory, not. thank you so much for coming up here and bringing light to the situation. Because No problem. And I apologize, y'all, but this is a very touchy subject for me. <laughs> oh, no, I understand. And, you know, this is the only way that we can try to get the truth out. You know, mm -hmm. and you've been, t you know her for six years. So that's why I just. I let I'm just do. trying to get it under control. That's all I was trying to do. It's no, when it comes to me and Jessica, it's no getting in control. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, I'm like, oh, she's like, help me. And I'm like, oh my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, she really don't help. She really don't want help finding her child. No. She know what the real truth is, and she doesn't really want the truth. She right. just wants people's money and what they can do for her. That's mm -hmm. all she wants. She but who's dumb enough to donate to their good. own GoFundMe? Her, because she cashes out. Because <laughs> you can't donate to your own GoFundMe. That is stupid. <laughs> but how are you going to donate to your own GoFundMe when they take, like, how much percentage? <laughs> like, yeah, you're losing right. money. You mm -hmm. are. But she don't think about it. <laughs> the woman for you to envy says, I love you, sis, Mallory. She said what? She said, Mallory, love you, sis. I love you, too. I love you. I'm more. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. It's been two hours. And um, <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad Jessica came up, though, so that we can get Me too. you know part of her story, too, because I did invite her to come up. And I'm sorry, Jessica, if you felt attacked and uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not Never. sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't feel bad. I'm sorry. Not at all. 
I she probably I'm gonna sorry. go see Ari right now. That's why she in Roanoke. And keep in mind when y'all see her go to Washington, New York, and Florida, Andrew did say he said, look where she's going. She's telling y'all where the baby's at. Okay. And then he also told me to search around the house. When I asked him, I said, Andrew, where do you think that we need to search it? He said, around the house. So be mindful of all the places that she goes and all the places that she posts. All right, them. I need them. What? Well, them shoes. Oh, girl. My feet look big. Um, oh. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here for Ariana's story. Yeah, um, thank you so much. I am actually surprised that she even showed up at all. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, Elizabeth. Not, from what I got tonight, she doesn't know how to speak the truth. If that baby is still alive, she needs to speak up. To me, just the different stories is sus. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I just don't know. If she doesn't that, want to sit behind bars for the rest of her life, she needs to speak up. Yeah, I just hope and pray that if she does know what happened to her baby, she will speak up sooner than later. She's about to be six years old this year, you guys. Six. She was three months when she went missing. Right, her birthday's next month. September 11th will be six years that she went missing. We have to keep her name and her pictures out there, you guys. She's somewhere, and we have to find her. And again, I want to thank all of y'all for being here. I know it was kind of a mess in the beginning, but um, Mallory and Jessica, like Mallory knows how to talk to Jessica, you know what I mean? And that's why I just let her get stuff out of Jessica, you know, because she knows her. She knows more of the story, and... I figured she can get more out of Jessica than we could because she knows more of the situation. Everybody rides with Mallory. She's the best. I love her so much. I'm glad I met her. And I'm glad that I met all of you guys. And we will find Ariana. We and she can try her. and strike for the public videos, but it won't work. Because those videos are public. She's. She probably she don't even be. know what that is. <laughs> All oh, right, you guys. have. A, I, I know it's late over there on the East Coast, and I appreciate you guys sticking with us for two hours. Um, if you didn't hit that thumbs up button for me, please do. I would really appreciate it. And I don't think I'm streaming on X. I am on Facebook. Thanks to those that are on Facebook watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night and definitely pray for Ariana. I, I, you guys, I'm sorry. Just pray for the whole family that the truth will eventually come out. You, you, we just have to pray that one of them will come out with the truth. Hi, Unsolved of Delaware. How are you? It's nice to meet you. All right, guys, that's all for tonight. I know it's late on the East Coast, and I really appreciate you guys staying with me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and yes. I will see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Bye.